Here I've drawn a graph of f of x, and, uh, and then I'm asking a lot of questions about different limits at, neg at positive 2, at 0, and at negative 3. Uh, I would ask you to pause it, try these, and then I'll show you the solutions. If this helps you, please like and subscribe for more math help. I have entire playlists on calculus. All right, um, I'm going to start actually over here at approaching negative 3 from the negative side. So what that means is you're approaching negative 3, but from the negative side. And this is always just asking, well, what y value are you approaching? Well, you're approaching a y value of 1 from the negative side. Now, from the positive side, so coming from this direction, what's the function doing? It's also approaching a y value of 1. And because those limits are the same, the limit exists there. It is 1. That is the limit at negative 3 because it's approaching that y value from both directions. Now, the last question I asked there well, is just what is f of negative 3? What's the value? Well, it's positive 3. It's defined right here. What this means is that the function isn't continuous at negative 3 because the limit isn't the same as the function's value. Okay? The limit is simply what you approach from either direction, but the actual value isn't the limit in this case. Now let's go to 0. As you approach 0 from the negative side, you're approaching a y value of 3. As you approach 0 from the positive side, you're also approaching a y value of 3. So the limit is 3 because you're approaching 3 from both sides. And you'll notice here that it's actually filled in right there. The value of the function is also 3. So that means that f is continuous at x equals 0 because the value of the limit is the same as the value of the function. All right, let's end with 2 from the negative side. Well, from the negative side, 2 is approaching a y value of 2. From the positive side, so coming from the positive direction, the function is approaching 1. Well, if it's approaching two different numbers from the different sides, we say that the limit does not exist. It has to be approaching the same number from both sides, so the limit does not exist there. And finally, what is f of 2? Well, the value is 1. I hope this helps you with a little bit of practice on finding limits graphically. Please like and subscribe for more math help.